Hey everyone, my name is Crystal. I am doing a pick a card reading of why they are not reaching out, the person on your mind or the person you're wanting to reach out to, why they're not. And then I'll do um, if they will. Okay, so let me, you know what, I forgot. Okay, one, two, three. Boop. Okay, one, two, three. Give you guys a few seconds to figure it out. Okay. Alright, so we'll do one first, obviously. Okay, so your person has regeneration and imagine. So this is, they are kind of like manifesting a new start for themselves, manifesting a new life. Um, this is 46, 4 plus 6 is 10. Okay, so I feel like they are going through an ending and a whole new beginning, regeneration building themselves up into a brand new person, wiser, smarter, and they are manifesting a new start for them. This is a 20, so it's a challenge card for them. So they have some type of choice um, or decision to make. They have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, and perception, focusing out. So maybe they are watching you, but like not interested or not reaching out. Watching you, but not letting you know that they're watching you, being sneaky. Um, paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, accepting each other. So I feel like are um, enjoying each other. Why did I say accepting each other? Enjoying each other. So I feel like this is somebody that you can really enjoy with, okay? But they got the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Moon, the Eight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like they're rebuilding themselves, whether they're rebuilt, like, Three of Pentacles is about, like, working together, teamwork, also about building. And then the Eight of Pentacles is, like, really concentrating and focusing on something, so maybe they're going back to school. But I feel like with this being in the um, same thing as if I could pick this card up, um, regeneration, I feel like they are putting themselves back together, working on themselves, trying to do better for themselves, right? They're trying to... Um, Oh my God, how do you want to call it? Heal. <laughs> Seven of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So they're confused right now because they're in their head. They have a lot of thoughts going through in their head and they're not sure what is, um, what, what cup should they pick. They don't want to go down the same road again and they're probably scared with the Moon card of coming and doing something brand new. Okay, they're stressing about it too. They got the Nine of Swords. They're stressing and scared to make a move. All right, and the reason why is because they're doing so much work on themselves and they're trying to put themselves back together. So I feel like if they, they want to make sure the next person that comes in is the right one for them. They got the seven of swords, could be dealing with, um, and then the three of swords. So yeah, they're trying to put themselves back together because they were dealing with somebody who wasn't genuine. They were dealing with somebody who was um, disappointing them, heartbreak cheating, lying, maybe even stealing somebody who ran from their problems, wasn't a good communicator, okay, seven and three of swords is not the ones that you want to get, okay, mostly all the sword cards are kind of like, you know, kind of like harsher than the other cards, but I feel like they have been through some hurt, so right now they are putting themselves back together, healing themselves and doing what they got to do, um, at the bottom of the deck, um, they are the hangman, so they also allowed this. So they've dealt with that for a while, and now they are seeing things from a new perspective and trying to do things differently. They are emotionally walking away from this uh, person or situation. Could be family, friends, um, but if they are walking away and starting something brand new, doing what they got to do for them. The Seven of Swords is also sneaking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you so you could do the work that you got to do for yourself because knowing being there um, around those people kind of is stopping you from doing the self-healing work that you have to do and right now he is focusing on his emotions his health his mental stability and he's trying to get himself balanced they are trying to get themselves balanced sorry if i keep on saying he um, outcome for this relationship we got the empress i feel like this is um in the nine of wands Coming out on top of being hurt. As long as you guys don't repeat the same mistakes that happened in the past, I don't feel like anything is going to be able to keep on bringing you down. This is also like lots of like um, things you're holding on to. So some, you just got to learn how to put this behind and <clears throat> move on from the towards the future. And then you have the Empress, which is talking about creativity. It's also a part about pregnancy, um, really doing what you got to do for you and knowing that you are all that you need in order to get to where you need to be. Also, this person you may have kids with because this is the mother of the deck. So maybe you guys have kids together and maybe you're waiting for the father to come back. 
Um, but if not, it doesn't have to be. Just take whatever resonates. And one more card, please. The High Priestess. I feel like um, they're not speaking right now, obviously. Keeping it quiet. But, and the High Priestess is also about intuition. Listen to your intuition. And, um... I feel like you guys know telepathically you guys are supposed to be together, but I feel like there is something that is just holding you guys back. All right? Holding it back. Fear. Fear is what's holding it back. So, holding them back. That's what I got for pile number one. I'm going to move to pile number two now. Thank you so much. If you like my content, please like and subscribe. All right, so we'll do number two with the little teddy bear. Okay, so your person has the tribe. Go the distance and thank her. Okay, so they're going to their friends, asking them, hey, you know, I've been thinking long and hard about, you know, reaching out to this person. And so they're asking their friends and family and close ones, like, what should I do, okay? They're thinking about going there. They're almost there. Um, let's see. They got the Five of Wands, the Queen of Wands, Raising Conscious, Ace of Swords, the Justice, damn, the Death card, the Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Lots of, um, well, high cards. Then they got cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So whatever this is, it's like, um, maybe it's good memories or old memory or bad memory. I don't know. But somebody's replaying something over and over in their head. Maybe that is the reason why they haven't reached out. Or maybe that is the reason why they're thinking to reach out. I'm not sure. Um, it could be, take what resonates for you. The golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So one of you guys could have been in a relationship that was not so good, and then it kind of ended, right? And now you guys are on a path to uh, standing in your truth and doing what you got to do and looking for the justice, okay? So I feel like this person um, is um, opening up spiritually, listening to their intuition more, and that is helping them to stand strong. Um, they do have a choice to make, but they are wearing the blindfolds on. It's something they don't want to do. And usually when we don't want to do something, it's because it's out of fear. But they're fighting with themselves to try to learn something new, to try to try something new. They're fighting with themselves to send a message also as well. They are having an inner conflict, an inner battle over to reaching out to you with the Two of Swords. Like, I don't know, but let's see what's going to happen in the end. The tower, massive change, doesn't have to be a bad thing. The knight of swords. So I feel like tower is pretty fast movement and so is the knight of swords. So I feel like this person might be coming in fast after some type of massive change, right? You got the death card and the tower card. After some type of massive change, I don't know if this is a change on the inside or if this is a change like maybe moving or leaving another person. But I feel like after that, they're going to run to you. The bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. This is good um, karma and bad karma. So if you did good, then good is coming back to you. If you've done bad, bad is coming back to you. And it also means that, you know, things are coming back around. So it could very well be somebody that's coming back. You got the King of Wands. Okay, so that's cool. You got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands right here and the Eight of Wands. Definitely communication. I feel like this could be a soulmate, a soul partner, somebody that you're deeply connected to the soul with. There's forward movement towards this, and I feel like you guys are going to have a good relationship because these are very trustworthy people, somebody that you can consider as a best friend, very reliable and loyal, brave, courageous, will stand up for you, you know, so I feel like this will be good for you guys. So... That's what I got for you guys on um, pile number two. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. I'm just doing, doing quick little readings for you guys. It's nothing like too long. I try not to get too long. Um, and then pile three. You got the rainbow obsidian. You guys can't really see it too well, but it's pretty fancy. Okay, so your, re your person is not reaching out because... A change in the wind, soulmate, treasure island. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Phoenix, not today, a girl with a snake. Okay, this one says empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enable boundaries. Okay, so somebody was being an enabler and was letting other people use them and walk all over them, right? Um, and needed to set up some healthy boundaries. So now they're going through a massive change and they're changing their mind, they're changing their heart, and they're doing 
a lot of changes, right? A lot of changes. And this person can want to be in your soulmate and everything that you ever wanted. But right now they're not reaching out because they don't want to deal with the pain. They're avoiding your conversations, your calls, your texts. They're setting boundaries because they're still angry. Or one, one of you guys is still angry. Or maybe they're afraid that you're angry. I'm not sure. But I feel like this person is a soulmate. Um, could also be twin flame. Who knows? But, you know, um, and there's something, there's someone that you ever always wanted. Okay, so they have the Habit card and the Ten of Wands. They're dealing with some type of stuckness. Um, lots of burdens, lots of things on their shoulders, doing too much. I feel like maybe they're doing all the work and not getting anything back. Maybe people are taking advantage of them. I do see that with this card, and then you have this card. Um, somebody is codependent in this relationship. They're afraid to be in. They're, they're not reaching out because they're afraid you're going to leave them out in the cold. They're, gonna, they're afraid you're going to say no. And then the Nine of Swords, they're stressing out over this. They're stressing out over not getting their wishes, which is unity, which is a marriage, which is partnership, commitment, um, a union, getting back together. They're stressing about this. They got two nines, a ten. They're going through endings, and they're also going through a brand new beginning, which is also their transformational period on the inside. So I feel like they're healing on the inside. And maybe they might not be um, healing yet, but I feel like um, they need healing. Um actions and advice the five of swords somebody's feeling defeated like you can never never win the king of pentacles focus on your stability your growth don't allow other people to make you feel like um defeated um outcome okay so you got the high priestess and the ten of cups you know this is your person you know you can have a um, forever time with this or <laughs> you know this is your forever person you know that you guys can have a family a happy family together you know this and i feel like the other person knows it as well right but i feel like somebody's just holding back out of fear holding back out of fear um not wanting to see things because they're afraid that you might say no and that you might not give them another chance right you might not accept their offer of love what else? Anything else? The Page of Swords are watching you through the internet, um, really evaluating things, really thinking things over. They want to rebuild with you, Three of Pentacles. They want teamwork, companionship, partnership, whatever it is, commitment. Um, your person does want this. They're watching you. But I feel like they are afraid to reach out because they're afraid that they're going to get hurt now. So... That's what I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. I know it was quick and it wasn't a lot of details, but I'm just trying to, and the lover's card fell out, okay? Um, so it could be a Gemini. But thank you so much for watching. Toodles.